when I'm around dude, get me around my friends that I grew up with, like my daughter's best friends that are basically like my family because I grew up with them. You get me around you get me around the two of them who've actually been married. Basically. Like we were all 18, like they've been well they're not technically married, but they've been together so long that they may as well be married. Like oh, the cameras they've been together that fucking long, so it's like man. you get the three of us around each other. Hello. People better start running. <laughs> hey, 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 it's a whole mess. Like people think that me by my shut the fuck up crazy. when I'm talking, you stupid. Gee, you, you should see me with my two best friends that I grew up with. Where the fuck, like you get me with them and it's game over, dude. <laughs> it's game, it's game over, man. Hello, two. Go live now. What is up, everybody? Hope you're all doing well. Uh, for those of you who are in chat who uh, just aren't talking yet. I am live with uh, Chance Wilkins, aka Cyrax. Um, what up? Yeah, I, I, I know you. I know you kind of changed your name up a little bit, but I think the internet oh, yeah. at large knows you as Cyrax. So I oh, hope it's okay. Oh yeah, absolutely. And oh yeah, absolutely. And to anybody out there that does, that is gonna ask like what y'all should call me, and I always say this to everybody, and this is this is both a joke and for real, and you guys will understand it. But every time anybody always asks me, hey, what should I call you? It's always. Hey, call me whatever you want. Just don't call me late for dinner, dude. <laughs> Man, so, nice like, any, so, like, so, like, any any name you want to call me by, I'm cool with. Because, like you said, people know me as Cyrax. So, I'm known for those that are, you know, a little bit more informal, like they know me by my real name, or the ones that I'm close to know me by my real name. So, like. It really is one of those things where it's like, hey, call me whatever you want. I don't care. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. Okay. Well, so uh, basically, just to kind of give people a little bit of a background on like what I was doing and how I got in touch with you. So basically, uh, I was watching your streams uh, when you yeah. had the channel Ghost Eye Sniper. Uh, and yeah. then those got taken down, um, which will, of course, cover some of the troll stuff, I'm sure. Uh, cause, oh, like, yeah. How could you not? You know, there's just so much. Oh um, yeah, dude. There's there's so much there that's like it's kind of hard to avoid that. <laughs> yeah, and, and so like I was watching your stuff, and I got I found your other channel. Um, and yeah. yeah, we just started talking, and I just wanted to kind of talk to you a little bit and basically see like so how long how long is this trolling and like everything that's been going on? Uh, it initially it, it initially started in like mid to late 2017, but it didn't get that bad until after like COVID happened around like 2021, 2022. Okay. That's when stuff like really started to. That's when it really started to pick up steam, and then just over time, it just kind of started progressively getting worse and worse and worse. And like it wasn't just like instantaneously like. You know, I'll drop the hat. It's like it kind of happened like super gradually. Like you know, they would start out with little things, and then those little things would start and turn into you know bigger stuff, and it just kept going and going and going to the point to where it's at now, essentially. Okay, I, I got you. So like, what's like the yeah. first like? What was like the first troll encounter? Like, does that make My sense? First, like, what was like your first yeah, yeah, yeah. like the first person to kind of like okay, start so messing with you? The first troll encounter that I came in contact with was Marty, but at that time, uh, back when it first started, I was actually running a podcast with a good buddy of mine that I actually did music with called the Chill with the Boys podcast, where we would have different artists that we were good friends with or, you know, had an interest in. And I had seen Marty in the chat or somebody that was pretending to be him. And they were just talking a bunch of crap because my buddy had worked that day and he was like, hey, can you hold the podcast down and take care of the podcast while I'm at work? I was like, yeah, dude, no problem. Because I had been doing it for like six months at this point, so I knew what to do already. So I was like, all right, yeah, I got you. So just do what you got to do and I can handle this, no problem. I knew what to talk about. I knew what was on the agenda. So I was like, bet, like, let me knock this out. And then I'll just chill the rest of the day and do whatever. Well, all of a sudden, I see this dude in the chat starting to run in his mouth. And at first, I'm like, we, you know how, like, in every community or, like, every, like, person has that one dude in the comments that likes to talk shit? Mm hmm Well, at first, I thought that's what that was. So I just kind of blew it off. You know, and I, I let him sit there and run his mouth, you know. I just kind of brushed him. I was like, all right, you know, he's just a hater or whatever. And this is, I don't know if you remember, but this is back in the day of Google Voice. When Google Hang or not Google Voice, but uh, Google Hangouts. When Google Hangouts was a thing, bro. 
Like that's that's yeah, how I remember old that. that was. That was Google oh, Plus. Yeah. I was on yeah, that. exactly. And that's the uh, that's when it all started. Because back <clears> then, <throat> when you when you used Google Hangouts, you didn't have that thing of you know like being able to ban someone back then. So I just kind of like let him do his thing. And I just kind of blew it off. And then I started seeing him more and more and more until one day he finally said something that, uh, for all y'all that don't know, if y'all have watched it, some of you might know, if any of you guys remember watching Ryan Upchurch back in the days when people would troll him and he would make these videos, making them look stupid but did it in a funny way, I started doing that. I was like, all right, so this, since this dude wants to sit here and talk shit and do this and that and the other, I'm just going to make the guy look stupid and have fun with it. And I ended up doing that a few times, and then I later on found out that that wasn't the real Music Biz Marty. So I went searching for the real Music Biz Marty and never could find him. And then I come to later on find out that that one that I thought wasn't him actually was him. And then me and him kind of went back and forth for a little bit. And then my ex, Candle, who, thank God I'm not with her anymore, because I'm not going to lie, dude. She was a total fucking psycho. I'm not going to lie, dude. Yeah. Like, she was the, no, like, seriously, she was the kind of chick that where if, like, let's say that she got with a dude and then they broke up with her. She wouldn't sit there and be like, oh, you know, you're a piece of shit. No, like, she would go out of her fucking way and be like, oh, this guy, th th this guy raped me. Oh, he, he, he did this to me. He did that to me when they never really did any of that shit. So she, so she was making accusations that you like assaulted her and stuff. Oh, dude, she would, she sat there. So before like Marty came into play, I was actually dating her before that happened. Mm -hmm. And I ended up breaking up with her. And she ended up sitting there saying that I jerk off to little kids and, oh, I raped her and I did this, I did that. And and the funniest one, this one I fucking laughed at. She was all like, oh, he called my landlord and this and that. And I'm like, bitch, I didn't even know you had a landlord until you said something. Shut the fuck up. That's fucking weird. Yeah. Like, why, why would I, why would I do that? <laughs> How how uh how far was she from you? Like was she like in like in Akron? Oh bro, bro, she was in a whole ass other state. Oh okay. Yeah, so she was in a whole another state. Well, a few months after all that went down, she had pretended to be dead. Like she went out of her way to make a fucking a fucking fake death certificate. Um, she got my good friend Paul, who I actually had a conversation with. And if I could find the stream where he spoke about it, I later down the road, like way later down the road, I found out that she did some shit to him that was fucked. But she had basically told him that she wanted him to, you know, say like, oh, you know, you you, you killed her. You, you pushed her to suicide. That's what she wanted him to say to me. And he did. But then I later on found out down the road that not only was she not dead, but I also later, like way later down the road, found out that she had threatened his kids and his family. Because he does have a family. He does have a kids. He does have a wife. He's been mm -hmm. married for, I don't even know. I don't even know how many years now. But like she threatened to go after his kids and his family. And to protect his kids, he was like, all right, you know, I'll do this. And then there was one day where he actually ended up showing up to my house because she had told him that she wanted him to kill me. So he came over to my house and knocked on the door. And we didn't even, like, he didn't even once try to go at me. We just literally sat down and talked for, like, three and a half hours. And that's how me and him actually started to become, like, you know, really, really good friends. And we ended up... I'm being super close since then up until a lot of this shit started getting really bad. But that's how all that got started. Well, Marty ended up catching wind of this shit. And I didn't realize that he was going to do the scummy shit that he did later on down the road. Yeah. So, essentially, like, you kind of got... So, you, you got trolled by this guy... Uh, yeah, and it turned out to be Marty the whole time. You had no idea. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, I had no idea. Yeah, and that's and that's what's so fucking weird about people like that. It's like, what the fuck? 
But, like, the reason why he started all this is because after I had done, then split up with Candle and shit, which, funny story, that's how me and have my ex, Heather, my current ex, the one that nobody really liked, mm -hmm. that's how me and her ended up together was because Candle started running her mouth about Heather. So I pulled Heather aside because we were all in a group chat on Facebook, and I didn't know what the fuck was going on. Like, I'm sitting there looking at both sides. I'm sitting there watching the both of them go back and forth. So after we all hop out of the chat for the day on Facebook, I pull Heather aside and I'm like, yo, like, what the fuck is she on about? Like, what the fuck is going on? And then, you know, Heather had explained to me what was going on. And that's actually how me and Heather ended up together because we ended up talking. And we ended up talking, like, more and more and more. And then we actually eventually... You know, we eventually ended up together, which, not going to mm -hmm. lie, looking back now, looking back now, I kind of wish that never happened. <laughs> that's, Just saying, man. Yeah, that's understandable. We've all we've all been there. We've, we've all oh, had crazy yeah. acts. Uh, so <laughs> I, I, have a few, I have a few questions I want to run what's by you. Um, yeah, what's up? So I, I, I'm, I'm pretty well versed on your, I guess, like, I mean, you're... you're you could call the universe at this point, I guess. Like you have like a whole, yeah, yeah, you have like, a whole like lore around you, bro. Hey, dude, honestly, I'll be honest, dude. To this day, I still don't know how far my span reaches. To be honest, dude. Yeah, I genuinely, I genuinely, I am just like every time somebody random comes up and tells me that they're a fan, I'm like, and and one part, and as a matter of fact, it's actually funny that you bring this up because I was just talking about this with a good friend of mine on Facebook right before I fucking called you. Because I was like, it's really weird because, like, this works whenever I see my face on a shirt or if I'm meeting somebody for the first time. It's like, part of my brain, like, is like, yo, like, that's cool. Or like, yo, that's sick. That's me in a shirt. But also at the same time, I don't want to be that guy that's like, hey, that's me. Like, you know, it's really <laughs> It's really weird, but also cool. Yeah, trying so to keep like, the humility in. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's it's weird, but also cool. Like, I'm just, I'll be honest, dude. I've apparently, from what I'm understanding, I've been huge for, like, a while now. And I'm still not used to it, to be honest with you, man. I'm just like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that actually kind of leads good into my first question. So, like, my first question was going to be, like, how do you feel about, like, your public perception? Like, how do you feel about the trolls how do you feel about you how do you feel that you're honestly, perceived honestly, by the like, community at large like, the community at large i do feel like they do have a lot of misconceptions and a lot of misunderstandings about you know just how i am as a person because there's so much negative stuff put out about me that it's like they're only seeing the one side you know and like i mentioned in my live stream that you that we were all in earlier i do genuinely feel like not a lot of people, you know, they really, they don't really get to see that side of me that was there before all this started. Because I've always had to, you know, I've always had to defend my work and defend myself since all this shit started. So it's like, it's definitely very weird, but it's also really cool at the same time. Like, to know that I actually have a voice to be able to speak up for people like myself that have been bullied for a lot of their life. And, like, that's definitely a good thing for for sure. But at the same time, I really feel like a lot of people see, like, just all this one-sided shit that they don't really... They don't really dig in and ask the questions of, like, you know, like, hey, what started all this? Who started all this? Or, like, they don't ever want to dig in and um, ask, like, the person that started all this shit, like, hey... Why did you start fucking with this guy? Like, what? what's the deal? Like, what made you want to do this? And I feel like that's where a lot of, like... That's where, like, a lot of the... I don't want to necessarily say projection from these people come from. But essentially, it is that, you know? It's like, they're just like, oh, you know, this is what we see, so this is what we're going to believe. Okay, I understand that. And I actually ended up talking with one of the trolls this morning. I had like a two-hour conversation with one of them. And the guy actually was very open-minded. He was very respectful. Very nice dude. Very well-versed in what he was talking about. Mm -hmm. Very knowledgeable guy. Very good dude all around. And to that dude, man, I do. if you are watching this, man, I do want to say thank you for being open-minded, man. That was actually, There's not a lot of people that do that, that, or that would do that. 
especially given the state that everything is in. Yeah. But as far as as far as like my perception on the trolls, I feel like there's a level of trolling that is okay. Like say that you know you're doing a live stream and you got you got a one of your really close friends in chat and they're in there giving you shit and they're talking shit and you they know that you're fucking around and they know that you're joking around and you know they're just giving you shit like all good friends do mm -hmm. that that i'm completely okay with because i've i got friends that are that are in my chat all the time they give me just the craziest shit ever and i'll i'll sit there and i'll go toe to toe with them right back but at the end of the day it's like I know at the end of the day that we are good friends. Like, there's no beef between us. It's just us being crazy and fucking around, you know? Yeah. We're not out. We're not out here trying to do stupid shit or cause drama and this and that and the other. Yeah. So, like, on that side of trolling, I'm cool with it. But when you go out of your way to not only try to do harm to someone in the physical world, but when you start going after, you know, their career that they've worked on for so long or you start you know going down that road that is no good like that's where i feel like that's where i genuinely feel like youtube as a as a platform does need to step in because like i said many a times you know i think it's fucked up that a lot of these major youtubers they have access to like all these people and all the you know, the staff members that can actually help and, you know, put an end to stuff. But yet the smaller ones like myself and you, we don't get that. And I feel like that's one thing on the platform that does need to change because a lot of people don't really see what actually goes on. They don't see the underside of what the smaller YouTubers like myself and you and other people, like, they don't really get to see you know what that's like and that's actually what led me into starting that behind the comments podcast where you know i started talking about this stuff and i started to really you know dig and dive in and like really kind of show like hey this is what us as small creators have to deal with we should be allowed to have the same level of accessibility to you know youtube live staff members and all this stuff so that we can put a lid on what's going on. Yeah. Because I, so one, one kind of leading into my next question here. Um, mm. So uh, Pug David in the chat asks, thanks Pug David for being here. Thanks you for uh, everybody. Up, who's in, by the way, um, he asks, uh, Cyrax, why did you delete your most recent stream? Just curious. Wait, my most recent stream got deleted. Did it? Oh, let me look. That's actually a very valid question. Let me look. Yeah. I don't think it got. I don't think it got deleted, but let me look. By the way, shout out to you, David. How you doing, man? Yeah, it was up. It was up when I left to go get dinner. Um, and that wasn't that long ago. That was like an hour ago. Yeah, it's still up there from. Oh wait, fourteen. Yo, how what? Is it down? Did it get, I'm not seeing it. That's weird. Is your channel st your? I think I see your channel still. Yeah, my channel's still up. Hang on, let me check my Gmail, dude. I'm glad you brought that up, David. Thank you for bringing that up, man. Let me check my Gmail real quick. Yeah, that is. Weird. Yeah, he says it's gone for me. Yeah, it's gone on our end too. I just checked mine. Oh, uh, copyright complaint. Okay. Go figure. <laughs> Wouldn't be a real YouTuber without a copyright problem, right? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Wait, is it? Wait, when was this copyright owner name, company name? Oh, wait, that was from me, I think. Yeah, I don't see. Wait, today's. Yeah, that was from today. What the fuck? Yeah, so apparently it got. Yeah, username, chance, well, yeah, okay, so, wait, username, uh, hang on, let me check my stuff. Yeah, you're good, man. That, that definitely is very weird, I'm glad you brought that up, dude, like, I'm genuinely glad that you brought that to my attention, so now I can look and see, like, what's going on. Oh, it's private, hold on, let me make that public, that's what happened, okay. 
So that my dude, my thing has a tendency to do that shit. I don't know why. All does though, doesn't it? <clears throat> That's a literal dude. Let's be honest, it wouldn't be a YouTube live stream of something that you, every YouTuber goes through that, man. Every <laughs> YouTuber. I don't, I don't care who you are, man. Like, dude, you can be a Markiplier or Jacksepticeye, and I guarantee you they've done that shit 50 million times. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, Doom1 in chat asks, how was your day today, Cyrex? Uh, not too bad, man. Not too bad. How about yours? Just sitting here chilling, man. <laughs> um, let's see here. I have another question. Um, let's see What's here. Up? So, oh, uh, a couple people, uh, so I, I got a chance to talk to a couple of my friends, uh, before him and they were asking, uh, what is your, uh, favorite between Coke or Pepsi? What do you prefer? Oh, bro. I gotta go old school Pepsi, man. Old school Pepsi. Oh, hell yeah, man. I gotta do it, man. Like, cause see, like, I don't get me wrong. I like Coke, but I grew up on Pepsi more or less. Yeah. I grew up on like all, I grew up on all Pepsi products. Now, if we're talking energy drinks, bro, that's a whole ass rabbit hole I can go down right there by yeah. itself. Bro. What's what's your favorite energy drink? Oh, I got to go classic monster, dude. Mm. Either <sighs> classic mon, either classic monster or venom or rockstar, one of the three. Yeah, solid, solid choices. What? Uh, oh, so I had another one of my friends ask me. Um, what's up? Before I went streaming, uh, he wanted to know what in the world was up with the so like. I, I'm aware of this. Uh, I don't know what it is, but he wants to know what's up with the Doritos bag. Like, why is it okay? Amazing? So yeah, okay. So the Doritos bag thing. When all right. So the image on that Doritos bag back when um I don't know if like you ever play like any of the Forza games or anything oh, yeah. like that. I love Forza. Well, y'all, yeah. dude, absolutely, dude. That's I, believe it or not. Uh, shout out to Slap Train on this one, but Slap Train's the motherfucker that got me hooked on the Forza series. I saw him playing it back in 2018, and I actually ended up getting my Xbox that same year. And from there, I actually started on Horizon 4. So I went in a very weird, I went in a very weird order. I went Horizon 4, then one, or no, then two, then three, then one, and then Motorsport 7. And then I'm now currently on number five and the new Motorsport. Nice. So when they were, yeah. So when the new motorsport was being promoted um they had released a uh, limited uh design for the doritos bag and as soon as i saw that i was like bro like that's bro like i know it sounds weird but it's like it's one of those things where it's like dude that's literally collectible they don't have those anymore like so and, and yeah. it's essentially it's essentially become a meme. It's like, dude, this is literally a part of Forza history right here. Like, yeah. it might not be a it might not be a very important part of it. I get it, but it's it's one of the ways that they promoted their stuff because if you look on the back, the cover car for the new Corvette that they dropped in game mm -hmm. that you could get day one was actually on there. So it's like. Dude, that's literal. No matter how you cut it, that's essentially at the end of the day, like that's essentially a part of Forza history in a in a yeah. way, in a sense. So you ended up getting so it because like, it was like a collectible. Yeah, thing. yeah. Yeah. Well, no, like the, the I I actually ended up getting the bag just because I like Doritos. Like that's one oh, of my yeah. favorite brands of <laughs> chips. But like, dude, especially the dude, the fucking sweet and spicy chili. Oh my god, that shit's so good. Yeah. But like, you know. I'm like, you know, so like I ended up getting it just for the Doritos, and then I saw the image on the back, and I'm like, wait a second. I, and it took me a minute. And I'm like, bruh, why does that car look familiar? And then I had looked at the very bottom. I'm like, oh, that's why, because it had the Forza logo on it. And I'm like, that's why it looks familiar. Hell yeah, okay, okay. So I, that so makes I, a lot more sense, because I know I had a lot of people right. asking. They were like, What's up with the Doritos oh, yeah. bag? They're like, is it a meme? Is he like, is he upset about no, it? It's, it? Yeah. No, no, it's literally just because of the fact that I'm a huge Forza fan, and it was actually through Forza that I actually met a lot of the good friends that I roll with today on Forza. Like, let's put it this way, dude. Back when uh, Forza Horizon Five dropped a couple years ago, I literally this is how huge of a fan I am, dude. Because like the the, the series as a whole is amazing. Like, I don't think there's any other game out there that's done the stuff that they've done. If, and if, if I am wrong, please correct me in the comments. If, if if there is one series that does that, let me know. And no, Gran Turismo does not count because Gran Turismo is more or less for sim racing. But 
Don't get me wrong, I love Gran Turismo, played the games as a kid, fucking amazing series. But I'm more partial to Forza just because of the fact that you got more to do. That's but fair. like That's I was fair. at Yeah. So like when Forza Horizon 5 first dropped, I was literally sitting there on the fucking start screen waiting the whole last hour, just sitting there on the start screen until it dropped. I literally had the fucking start menu up waiting the whole time for that last hour. I literally just sat there and watched TV the whole fucking time on my computer while I'm sitting there staring at the screen just waiting for it to drop. Like, I was that dude. I was that guy. <laughs> nice. Uh, let's see. Enryu, Enryu Zero in chat asks, uh, he says, how do you feel about femboys? Just general curious. Hey, I don't mind them. The, and I know a lot of people, like, see what I say and stuff to say. You know, I, I know they see a lot of the certain things that I say. And I, you know, I get why they why they they would think what they think. I completely understand it. But the point of view that I'm coming from is, like, when I'm saying a certain thing to somebody, it's not because I hate a certain group or anything like that. Because, dude... Y'all gotta remember, when my older brother was still alive, because as a lot of y'all may, and or for those of you that don't know, he actually ended up passing away in 2015 from lung cancer. But when he was alive, he actually was gay himself. Plus, a lot of my closest friends are either bi, gay, lesbian, trans, so I, I have, you know, friends all over the spectrum that are actually some of the nicest people I have ever met, and some of the most respectable people I've ever met. So I have no problem with it at all. The only thing that I will say is like, just don't push it on people or like try to force anybody into it because I have seen that happen to people and it's like, that's just not cool, dude. That's that's almost like, that's like trying to shove religion down someone's throat if you really think about it. Like, yeah. n no, no one really wants that shoved down their throat, you know? Like, I have no problem with it, just don't try to force it, you know? Like, don't... Don't be sitting there and trying to force, you know, this person or that person to be gay or to switch or whatever. Now, if it happens and they come up to you and they're like, hey, you know, I want to give this a shot. Hey, that's cool. That the more power to you. I have nothing against it. Like, yeah, uh, that's and what, that's what's up. Yeah, and like, and a lot of people do know this dude, but uh, my best friend, well... We're not really talking right now, but I do still consider him my little brother and one of my best friends, Jake. As a lot of y'all know, and a lot of y'all from the old days do know this dude, Hillbilly Jake. Even and even if he's not watching, or even if you are, man, what up, Jake? We need to hang out, man. We need to talk again. Hit me up. But uh, there was one day where we were going to the store just hanging out. We were actually on our way to, uh, to Hot Topic, because that's where... I get a lot of my um, anime merch at. That's where I get a lot of my band tees at. And Jake's kind of getting into that realm of like, okay, this is some cool stuff. Like, this is interesting because he's just now kind of delving into the anime world. He's just kind of now like really diving in. Yeah. So I was like, bet. Like, you know, let's head over to Hot Topic, man. We'll, we'll get you we'll, we'll get you going, man. We'll, 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 we'll pop your anime cherry for you and get you going here. Let's fucking go, we'll dude. We'll set you up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly but we were on our way there and he flat out straight out told me when we were when we were in his truck on the way there that he was by and i'm like okay you're still my little brother so love you to death you're still my little brother that's not gonna change things don't cool. change yeah uh i have one uh aqualinks in chat uh says what about uh he says just generally curious do you feel the age of consent should be changed at all it de depends on where you're coming from. Like, as far as, like, age of consent of, like, what? Uh, I think he's talking, yeah, he says uh, for, like, minors generally. So, like, I, I know there's a lot uh -oh, of discourse yeah, yeah, around yeah, yeah. you. I obviously, I'm not going to, oh, like, yeah. I'm not gonna, like get oh, into yeah, all that absolutely. shit. But he, he's oh, just curious. Like, and, yeah, age of and, consent for and, that. And, oh, absolutely. Like, in, in general, like, this is just my two cents on it. And, and a lot of old school people, I know a lot of y'all old schoolers out there like me, a lot of y'all old heads like myself, because a lot of people might not know, but I was born in 1990, so I'm very, I was raised very old school. I was raised old school values, old school tradition. I was raised everything old school, man. So in my honest opinion, I feel like 
if you're old enough to sit there and be like, hey, you know, I can make my own decisions and I can do this and that, then I feel like you should have that freedom to, be, to essentially be able to make whatever choice you want. Because like the old saying goes, if you're grown enough to lay down and make a baby, then you're old enough to take care of it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, like if you. you, Like, if you can sit there and look at it, and I only say that because I know a lot of a lot of people out there, are, and it's been all over YouTube. We've all seen this shit. There are parents out there that necessarily shouldn't be parents, to say the least. Yeah, that's definitely... Like the, the, yeah, like, I, I know a lot of people, uh, you know, in in some ways, myself included, I suppose, uh, will, you know, are big aggregates for, like, I guess, eight, like, uh, 18 kind of being the, yeah. the general consensus. Yeah, and, and honestly, <laughs> and, and that does play into what I'm about to say. I yeah. really and honestly feel like, you know, parents need to start being more involved with their kids' lives when it comes to that stuff because I'm not going to lie, dude. Like, we're in a weird time in social media where you got fucking 10-year-olds fucking backhanding their teachers and getting away with it. It's fucking crazy. Yeah. I mean, like, so, like, what what's, like, uh, so, like, if you don't mind, man, just kind of walk me through. Yeah. So, like, I know... Not not to like you know I'm not being hostile or anything, but I'm just curious. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like, yeah, just curious. Like when when that whole sting op went down. Yeah. Right. Like what what was going through your mind? What was going through? Uh, like what was your so, whole take on it? I suppose. So when so when that stuff first initially happened, when Kate did what she did, which not gonna lie, if anybody's ever looked up Kate, y'all know how how fucking crazy that bitch is. Not gonna lie, she is out there, dude. Like even Turtle Boy has called her out on some shit. Like if you don't believe me, you can literally look this shit up. Like he has called her out many times. Shout out Turtle Boy, by the way, man. You did good with those videos, man. But um, when that initially went down, she had hit me up, for, like telling me on the phone, like, "Hey, you know, I'm 18. I'm a fan and blah blah blah." And at first, I was like. All right, that's cool. You know, you're a fan. That's awesome. And then we started talking more and more. And the whole time, I genuinely thought that she was an adult. Mm -hmm. I thought that she was 18. And then when everything kind of went down and she claimed to be underage, mm -hmm. that's when in my mind, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, that's not cool. Like, for you to sit there and pretend to be of age... And then turn around and switch up your age, regardless of, you know, regardless of, like, how it went down and what was sent. Regardless of that, like, taking that out of the equation, the fact that you can literally sit there and do that to somebody that has never been arrested for that shit, does not have a history of that on their record, like, what the fuck are you thinking when you're doing that? Like, I genuinely would love to know, like... Like, I know why she did it, which I we all know is a bullshit excuse. But I would genuinely love to know what was going through her head of like, you know, like, hey, this is why I did it. And every time I ask her, she always comes out with the same excuse answer of, oh, because you came off pedo vibes. Like, that's not a real answer. That's literally you deflecting. Like, I want an actual answer as to, like, why. So like I know, yeah, like I but, know who I know who paid you to do it. It was fucking Marty. I I don't figure that part out, no problem. But I want to know why you decided to do it. Like, what was your reason behind it? Did I look like an easy target, or what? Like, what was the actual reasoning behind what you did? And I and this is just my take on it. I genuinely feel like that if you're a police officer. And you're like you're doing that stuff to somebody that is a known pedophile. I feel like it should be illegal for cops. But when it comes to like regular people doing that, like unless you're working with the police, I I feel like you shouldn't be allowed to do that. I feel like you know there there needs to be a barrier there between like okay, you're working with the police and you're actually trying to do something good. But when you're out here just doing it to gain views, which is what which is what she was essentially after, at least that's what I got out of it, I feel like that like there should be that limit, you know? Yeah. Do you uh like do you 
uh, do you like because I know a lot of people try to say that like you know despicable don't have any regret I, to be completely fair I'm a totally neutral party on this or I try to be I like to go into things kind of um, in a very gray area and I just like to ask the questions just go for the facts and shit like that basically yeah um, so just kind of like in 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 your mind like do you think anything you did was bad do you like think anything oh was, yeah like like, yeah. like 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 granted yeah like and don't get me wrong I do understand like yeah like maybe I shouldn't have fallen for it the way I did but at the same time though it's one of those things where it's like you know like it's really like you said. It's one of those gray areas where it's like, what happened was fucked up, but at the same time, it's like, if this person wouldn't have lied about their age, then I, a lot of this shit may not have happened. Like, yeah, it, like if she, if she just would have been up front and be like, hey, I'm this age, blah blah blah. I actually want to talk to you. Okay, cool. That's that actually leads into what I was gonna say is like not too long ago, actually a few days ago, there was a uh, dude that pretended to be a chick in my Discord in one of my fan Discord servers, where um this dude pretended to be a chick and was hitting on one of my friends and then was hitting on me and she he well she slash he fucking lied about who they were and essentially played all three of us for fools and i feel like if like that shit should not be allowed like at all like yeah like were they why, lying about like, their what? age or like their sex or like what were they what were they yeah, lying well, about <clears throat> they were lying about like like when it came to my friends and myself in the server mm -hmm. they were essentially lying about um, like, that they were a guy. Like, they were saying that they were a female, and they were using a voice changer and everything. And then it finally came out. They finally came clean and were like, hey, like, I'm actually a dude. And I was just like, I was in shock, bro. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, why? Like, that. why? Were, were they, like, transitioning, or were they just, like, in general? They were, they were gay, but, and I understand why they did it. Because they didn't know if any of us would like them. And I finally told them right from the jump. Like, I told them right as soon as I said that. I'm like, dude, like, if you would have just been yourself and been open and been honest right from the jump, we would have taken you in, man. Because, like, you seem like a good dude. You seem like somebody that is respectable. So why would you lie about that? Like, I understand that you didn't know. But that still doesn't make what you did okay, because when you do that, you're not, like, you're not really doing yourself any favors by doing that. I mean, yeah, I always think that open and honest communication is the best way to, oh, to handle any situation. Oh, know? 100, 100, 100, dude, and like, you know, and that's where I feel like a lot of these trolls, they're just, they're just not getting that, like, yeah, what happened happened. It was not right. It was not cool. But at the end of the day, they need to ask, why did this person go about doing this in the first place? What was their reasoning behind it? They're yeah. not asking the they're not asking those key questions. They're just so focused on the oh, you did this. You you're a pedo. This proof is out there blah 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 blah. What was like, the, okay. yeah, so, like, I'll ask, what was the reason? Like, what was the whole, like, mindset behind it, you know? Right, that, that, that's what I want to know, dude. Like, that has always been my question. And let's put it this way, dude. Kate's the kind of chick, and I don't know if it's still out there or not. I'm hoping it is because it was funny as fuck when this happened. There was one night where, back when I actually had a phone number that worked, um... I know, for all y'all that don't know, I don't have a phone that doesn't work right now because of the fact that, I'll be honest, back when I had a working number, I got blown up all the time by troll shit. So me not having a number turned out to be a good thing. Yeah. It really did. It, it actually helped me more than it harmed me. I will say that. But at the end of the day, like she ended up uh, getting confronted by me when I was confronting her. She, and I asked her straight up, why'd you do it? She sat there and said what she said because I gave off pedophile vibes or whatever. And I shit you not dead ass. And she was on a live stream when she did this. 
she literally proceeded to hit on my stepdad right there on the phone with me and my mom in the same room right there listening. Like, we were dead at. I had the phone on speaker, and she's like, she started hitting on my stepdad. I'm like, me and my mom and him were all just sitting there laughing, like, what the fuck is wrong with you, you fucking psycho? So, like, uh, Andrew, Andrew Zero uh, asks again, he wants to know, he's like, what's what's it like living a day in the life uh, of you? Like, what what's it, what's it like? Definitely strange. I will say that. It is strange. Like, for the most part, it's really cool. Like, it really is cool because, you know, I've obviously got, you know, a lot of really good friends that, you know, I've not only met over the years, but I've also got, you know, a lot of my fans that I hang out with that have been watching me for a long time or, like, that do actually see, like, what I'm really about, you Mm -hmm. know? And those, like, that for me is actually, I love doing that. Like, I love the fans. I love hanging out with people. I love meeting new people as long as they're not an asshole. Which I think we can all agree on that one. Yeah, yeah. But like a, a, a general day for me literally just consists of me just, you know, waking up, grabbing a shower, grabbing some coffee, eating some breakfast, and then sitting down and just going throughout my day and like kind of like planning out like while I'm sipping on some coffee and hanging out or whatever. Because like in the mornings, like when I'm sitting down and I'm waking up and I'm drinking my coffee, for all y'all out there that do drink coffee in the mornings, y'all already know that I'm going to tell you've had that cup of coffee. You and I both know, man, we're always half asleep. <laughs> Until yeah. we've had that coffee, we're, we're like, bro. Things don't happen not? in my life until so the coffee gets in. Uh, <laughs> no, so exactly. like uh, Mr. Gamer wants to he says, wait, is this real? Are you actually yes. interviewing? Yes. Uh, I mean, yes. you tell Hi. him. You tell him. Mr. Gamer, I'm right here. I'm right here, dude. What up? What up? Yeah, no, that's this. This is this is uh, real. This is real. This is a chance. Uh, yeah. What's a so what's fresh, dude. yeah? Uh, what's what's um? Yeah, I'm trying to think here. Uh, zombie fan says no fucking way. He can't believe that uh that you're on interview. He says what's up? What's up, dude? What's up, zombie fan? You got any questions? Zombie fan's one of my one of my buddies. Uh. Uh, he wants. Let's see here. Sorry, I'm just going through. There. Oh, uh, oh, you're good. You're good, man. Somebody asked me earlier before I got on stream. Uh, what do you think of cupcakes, dude? <laughs> Where did that? <laughs> yeah, they they were asking. I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. They were asking. What do you think of cupcakes? <laughs> <laughs> like I said, point me in the direction and show them where they're at. I'll down those suckers. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I may look skinny. I may look skinny, but I can put some food away when I want to, man. Okay. So, uh, so Cyrax likes cupcakes. Cyrax likes some cupcakes. Believe it or not, dude, like, just a fun fact here, I'm literally the least pickiest eater that you will ever meet. <laughs> like I'm not, I'm not very picky when it comes to food. Like literally, just a couple of weeks ago, um, I don't, I still don't know who they are, but um, these guys that had, um, that went by um, the sun, um, Shadow and the Summit Lake uh, yeah. gang had actually ended up sending me a paid for pizza from I forget where it was. It was like a local shop, and I'm like, bro, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, it it was paid for and everything. I'm like. Well, at least I got lunch tomorrow. <laughs> uh, Zombie fan <laughs> asks. Uh, he said he's a huge music head. Uh, my my boy Zombie fan's a huge metal head. He wants to know oh, what your yeah. top three favorite music artists are. Oh, Lincoln Park, Disturbed, Suicide Silence. Okay, hell yeah. And four and a fourth one got to go old school Evanescence. Oh, Evanescence is good. Believe it or not, fun fact, Evanescence is how I actually ended up getting introduced into bands like Disturbed and Three Days of Grace and all these other bands. Their first song, Bring Me to Life, that was my gateway in to alternative music, which then eventually led me into heavier bands like Cradle of Filth, uh, Barrier Dead, Suicide Silence, Lauren and Shore, like all those different bands. So Evanescence kind of opened that gateway and kind of led me into all these bands that I listen to now. Evanescence was huge. Like them and Linkin Park were my big two. Dude, dude, Evanescence is still putting out music to this day. I know. I wish Chester was still alive because if he was, he'd oh, still be damn, putting out music. Dude. You know? Oh, a hundred percent, dude. I'm not gonna lie, dude. When that um, when their newest music video dropped, Friendly Fire. 
Dude, I fucking teared up, man. Not gonna lie, like that shit hit so hard because, like, it was very, it was bittersweet. You know, it really mm-hmm. was bittersweet because, like, there's it's it was like he was still here throughout the video and just seeing him happy and smiling and like I really feel like his passing like that needs to be like and that's that's actually why I advocate for stuff like, you know, anti-suicide and stuff like that. Not only because of people like that, that's why I'm a very big advocate for mental health. Always have been because I've been there before. Like, I've been at that point, and it's, I'll be honest, it's its not a fun place to be. Yeah. It really isn't. Do you think, like, do you think Chester, sorry to interrupt, man, but do you think Chester, oh, uh, do you think, like, his passing is kind of what makes the troll thing hurt a little bit more is just no oh absolutely yeah absolutely that that and uh the death of the inquisitor who actually went through a very similar situation where people tried to make him look like a pedophile and he unfortunately ended up killing himself as a result yeah i feel like i feel like those two right there like they definitely makes it a lot worse for not just for me but in general because it kind of opened up my eyes because like i used to watch the inquisitor on tiktok like i used to watch his stuff all the time like i wasn't like a super advocate like you know i have to watch him every day kind of thing you know like i wasn't like that but like whenever i would see new stuff by him i would check his stuff out and from what I saw, dude, he was a genuinely good fucking dude, very friendly guy, and just wanted the best out of life and wanted the best for everyone. And I feel like once that happened, like once that situation went down and he did end up taking his own life, I really feel like that, you know, that kind of sparked, like, why is nobody saying something about this? Because mm-hmm. there are a lot of there are a lot of YouTubers that do deal with that on a daily basis. Yeah. And I will and I will admit I'm one of the ones that deals with it. I go through that shit. I understand, you know, the hatred, the depression, the you know, the hell that you know you go through dealing with this stuff. And it's it's just genuinely not cool. And I wouldn't like I would never want anybody to be in that position because it fucking sucks yeah i know a lot of people um would argue just based off of like arguments i've heard and things like that a lot of people would argue that they only focus on you or like they only focus on other lol cows what what do you think like in your mind what makes you a lol cow to them to me, I think it's because of, like, a lot of the raging out that I did back before I actually knew how to, like, to really get a grip on it. Because whether or not, dude, after all these years of doing YouTube, I'm just now kind of learning how to handle with stuff. Because I've never been in that kind of a situation where I've dealt with, like, all the fame and the crazy stuff. And having all these, you know weird controversial things go down and this and that and the other like i've never had to be in a position coming up where i constantly had to explain myself or had to deal with this or had to deal with that like i've like i never had much growing up like i'll admit like i was an army brat lived out in the country with you know my mom after Mm -hmm. my mom and dad split was raised on a on a country farm out in the middle of nowhere in Washington State. Have my life, which I love the country. I fucking miss it. Not gonna lie, <laughs> it's yeah. way better than I'm, hey. I'll admit it's way louder than it's way better than a loud slab of concrete. I'll tell you that. Yeah, because yeah. like it's actually peaceful out there. But you know, like going back to this stuff, like I really feel like it's it's definitely weird. Like I I'm still like really learning how to like fully like get a handle on it like i'm still like learning like how to to handle things more or less when it comes to like the extreme side of stuff Mm -hmm. but when it comes to like the rage outs and stuff like what's the point in doing that like when you're trolling somebody i understand getting you know that laugh i mean not gonna lie we've all done it angry german kid angry grandpa two prime examples right there yeah Granted, yes, those were funny, but they were acting when they did that. So, matter of fact, uh, PFV, uh, who actually is now a somewhat of a former friend of mine because he decided to be a little ass on one of Marty's streams. And if y'all don't know who PFV is, he's actually 
a um, dude. He's actually a major rapper that I actually ended up going to high school with when I was in high school. And he ended up becoming friends with the grandson of the angry grandpa. So he knows the dude that was the angry grandpa's grandson. Because yeah. as a lot of y'all, as a lot of y'all know, angry grandpa did pass away. Like I think, like what was it, two, three years ago that he passed? It was a few. Yeah, I remember when he did. Yeah. 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 So like you know, and don't get me wrong, I, that that sucked for me because I loved the angry grandpa dude. Because like at, at the end of the day, like you can tell that they were just joking around. They really were. And like, and it's it's one thing to make someone laugh and acting, but when you're going out of your way to physically do stuff to make them rage out like the, a lot of these people do and have done with me, it's like there needs to be a limit to that. Like, okay, I get it. You know, you're there at their house. You're, you know, you're doing like a glitter bomb or whatever. All right, cool. Nothing harmful, just glitter. You know, we've all been there. I've dealt with glitter bombs. I've dealt with all kinds of the, your typical shit that yeah, you would get tp or whatever like probably yeah everything. like yeah oh dude fucking i've had and we've had eggs thrown in our houses we've had some of the weirdest most disgusting shit that you could think of sent to our house and like just over time it did ten a couple of times it did kind of get very dangerous which kind of sucked mm -hmm. but you know i feel like you know when it comes to low cows like, there needs to be a limit on what you do. Like, if you're just there poking fun and getting a rise, okay, I get it. Have your fun. But don't be sitting there and taking it into real life or, you know, messing with their way of making a living or doing this or doing that. Like, if you're, if you're going to be a troll and joke around, all right, cool. But don't be doing anything to screw their life up or what they're trying to do, man. That's just not cool. So, uh, let's see here. I, what was I going to say? This is what I get. Oh, like, I write that? stuff down, and then I'm like, oh, man, my, my train of thought's everywhere. Dude, um, dude, I would, yeah. I would forget. Dude, if, if my brain wasn't attached, I would have done forgot it years ago. So, I feel <laughs> you. Yeah. I, so, like, what – so, I know that, like – I, I know I've heard you publicly, like, apologize and, like, state whatever um, – on multiple yeah. occasions, um, and I know oh, yeah. I've heard uh, I've heard a few times in some of the streams, like you know, you're trying to change, you want to change. What is it? Oh, yeah. What does it mean to change for you? Like, like for me, yeah. For me, it's more or less like you know, the you know the not reacting, which I am still working on, and mm -hmm. not gonna lie, that is a that is a fucking process. Let me tell you, that is a fucking mission, dude. No joke. But like you know. And for me, it's more or less, you know, trying to not react, trying to show that, like, I'm actually trying to do something with my life and trying to, you know, be that person that a lot of these old school fans and a lot of these newer ones, which if any of y'all are in chat, what's up, guys? But, um, you know, I feel like it's one of those things where it's like, I'm just really just trying to show people that I'm not this evil, weird psychotic person that they make me out to be because if you go back which i'll actually send you my original facebook that i'm actually locked out of thanks to marty from years ago <laughs> um yeah i did surprisingly knock on wood that thing's still up somehow crazy but um yeah so like if you go back and you look at the original videos from and a lot of people don't know this but i first started doing live streaming on facebook that's where I first started out. Yeah, at. I remember seeing a few of those, like that they they were lower quality, but I don't think that was the camera as much as it was uh, Facebook. Facebook, itself. yeah. Because like, let's yeah. be real, Facebook just does not have good quality. Dude, face, face, Facebook needs to catch up on their shit. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> I think anybody with a half a brain will admit that's a given. Yeah, no, I feel you. But why? Like, but, like, if you go back and you watch, like, all these older videos from start to finish, you can kind of see the progress of, like, you know, how I started out. I wasn't fucking with anybody. I wasn't doing anything. Mm -hmm. I was just doing my thing. You know, I was having fun, hanging out with my friends. And then, like, way later, like, towards, like, the last, you know, like, towards the last, I'd say, like, 20 or 30 videos, you can kind of start to see where... 
they were slowly starting around that time period when everything got started because they were hitting me up on Facebook as well, just not as much as on here. Yeah, once they had a bigger platform, I feel like. Yeah, yeah. It was like it was one of those scenes where you can kind of start to see where things started to change. It's like if you compare, say, like if you go back and watch one of my old gameplay videos back when I was doing stuff like um what was it like the skate games on mobile or um, i don't know if any of y'all remember but a turbo dismount from back in the day which funny funny story jacks out the guys how i found out about that game man and that shit is addicting yeah skate but like <clears throat> but like if you go back and you watch a lot of those older videos you'll see like a clear difference between like back then i was super happy Always having fun, always energetic, always having, you know, always trying to do something new. But then when all this stuff started to get really bad, that's when everything started to change. That's when I started to, you know, get more of like a what the fuck kind of mindset. And then eventually that mindset started to become depression. And then it just, it led into all these scenes. And you can kind of see, like, compared to, like, last year, which I'm starting to do a little bit better now. Like, I'm starting to slowly get that old school mindset back that I used to have. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm, I'm th- thank God for my friends that have actually held me down through that. Thank God. So, but, um, uh... I really... Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry, I was going to oh, say, Henry yeah. Enry, Enry Zero uh, asked another question. He says, what would you think of doing a collaboration with King Cobra JFS? Dude, I so funny thing, I do not have any hatred towards King Cobra. Do I agree with what he does by putting all that weird shit in his body? No. Because, that, let's be honest, that shit's going to fucking kill him at some point. Let's be honest. Like, that, yeah. that road he's going down in... It's not good. Like, it's going to kill him at some point. But I do feel like, you know, he's genuinely a good dude. Like, I know that he has this hatred towards me or whatever, and that's fine. But, I mean, if he were to ever change his mind, I would gladly do a collab with him because I've hung out with him on, um, I don't know if any of you guys in comments remember uh, Courtney Knight, uh, who's actually a very good personal friend of mine in real life. Like, I've hung out with him on her channel and on panel with her multiple, multiple times. And he's genuinely a good dude when he's not being fucked with. He really is. Like, he's genuinely a funny, just down to earth and chill dude. Yeah. And I feel like, I feel like if he would just drop that hatred and that grudge that he supposedly has against me, bro, I'd be down. Yeah. Very good. Uh, that PlayStation Gamer, uh, he's one of my buddies. Uh, What's up, man? Yeah, he wants to know, have you ever heard of The Last of Us? Yes, I do. Are you kidding me? I've played the games and I've seen the series and the movie. Yeah, he wants to know what you think of them as well. Oh, they're good. Very underrated, for sure. They're very underrated. Yeah. Uh, he. Oh, he also wants a shout-out. <laughs> what, up? what up, dude? That PlayStation Gamer. Shout out, place, shout out that place, that PlayStation Gamer, man. How you doing, bro? <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah. Uh, let's see here. What's a... I'm just finishing up through my questions here. Oh, so oh, yeah, um, yeah. hot topic for you. I, I think All I right, asked you up? in your last in your last stream. Um, yeah. But I wanted to get your... Uh, get like an actual in-person uh, talk about it. Um, when yeah. I was asking him, so like we know anime um, is a you know super popular. Anime is awesome. We all love anime. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. There, and I know the community is really mixed on this topic. But what do you think yeah. of, of uh, Lollycon? Like it, it, Lollycon honestly, as a whole, what's, yeah. your, what's your take on it? <clears throat> honestly, I think it's definitely a very interesting concept if it's done right. Like, I feel like, and a lot of people don't know this, but if you look at the car community as a whole, like, and this actually leads into that, but there's a whole other side of the car culture that I'm actually part of, that I've been a huge fan of, and I do show this on a lot of my cars throughout Forza and all these different games and stuff. Uh, There's actually a community called the Itasha community where they will take, like, different anime characters and they'll deck them out on their cars and a lot of the stuff they do is super clean so i feel like if you're doing it properly and you're not being a real fucking just a weirdo creep about it and being like oh i want to screw this this character because she looks like this 
Like, if you're doing that, dude, like, you got issues. Well, but I genuinely... What would you I say to really, people... So, oh, sorry, man. Uh, what would you say oh, to people good. that uh, think that there's, like, a correlation between Lolicon and pedophilia? Like, there can some people, be. Some people do think that, like, oh, if yeah, you're an enjoyer of Lolly, you might be an enjoyer of... Yeah, know. and, and that for some people, that is true. For some people, that is very, that's actually a very valid... That's a very valid outlook because, not going to lie, there are some people that are like that. And let's be honest, within any community, within the anime realm, or in in any kind of thing in general, you're going to have those few people that do try to make the rest of the community look like shit. But mm -hmm. I do genuinely feel like if it's done properly... It can be a fucking, it can be an awesome thing. Like, one of my best friends, actually, one of my uh, teachers that I'm actually really good friends with that I've known since high school, she's literally, like, four foot eight, so she's genuinely a midget. Funny as hell, love her to death. She's actually, we're still good friends to this day. I still see her all the time at the store. But she does go to Comic-Cons dressed as, you know, these younger characters, and she does it quite well. Like, she really pulls it off in a really good way. But she's not a creep about it. She's like, hey, this is a character I can vibe with. This is a character that I can rock with. Because whether it's the clothing style or, you know, what they do. I feel like a lot of the community does get a bad rap because of these weird people that do that sick fucking weirdo shit. Just like with the furry community. I have several friends that are in that community that are some of the nicest people I have ever genuinely met. In my life. But you get again. You have those weirdos. That just they want to ruin it for everybody. Because they have. They have something just not mentally okay in their head. Yeah. No okay cool. I, I appreciate you answering. I was kind of curious like. You know oh, yeah, what your absolutely. thoughts are. Just to kind of be able to oh, chat absolutely. with like, um, like I said. I, yeah. Like I said. I feel like with any community. There's always going to be those few bad apples. But again I feel like if. If anything is done right, then it can be done very well, very tastefully. Like, if you're doing it in a very tasteful way and you're not being weird about it, then by all means, do what you do. Yeah. How do you think, what do you think of, like, depictions of uh, that in, like, in, like, real life, like, in, like, other entertainment? What do you think of depictions of like minors like engaging in that stuff in terms feel, of like overall? I feel like, and I did mention this in my last live stream, and I know that I'm going to, I know I caught a lot of backlash for some of the shit that I've said, but I do feel like that if you are doing weird stuff like that, you do need to seek mental help. And I get where like a lot of people are like, Oh, you know, like if if you're a if if you've done this and that to kids and blah 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 blah, like there's no chance for rehabilitation. I say that's false, because anybody can change if they want to change. If they want to do better, they can do better. It's all about the mindset. If you want to change, then by all means, do it. Like as long as you're not out there you know, actively trying to do it and you're actually showing that you're trying to do better, then that's a good thing. Yeah. What, do you, I, what do you think uh, about people that have, like... Because I know a lot of people, when, when we talked oh, about yeah. the backlash a little earlier, you were mentioning oh, yeah. a lot of people kind of have that, like, zero redemption, uh, hard vendetta mm. against you and say, oh, because yeah. you, you know, supposedly talk uh, or did talk with somebody you believed was a minor that change right. is not possible for you. What do you think about that? What do you think? I say, yeah, I say that I honestly say that that is completely bullshit. I think like, you know, if for just from my perspective and what I've dealt with, I really feel like if people actually took a step back and didn't actually go at me or attack me, I really feel like the world would actually get to see a completely different side that's been just completely shrouded by, like, this over-looming fucking garbage. But it's like these people don't want to let that shit go, and they're like, oh, no, like, you did this, so we're going to make you pay for the rest of your life for that. Like, I really feel like if they just kind of took a step back 
and just kind of let things run its course and let me do what I need to do to get to where I need to be. Like, they would see a complete, everybody would see a completely different side. People would be more open to be like, oh, this dude's actually not how they're saying he is. Like, this dude's actually a, like, wow. Uh, TPG wants to know, what do you think of being put, like, in groups of, like, discussions next to people like Chris Chan and DSP and White Bowser, Daniel Larson, like, all these, like, low cows. Yeah, yeah. He, he wants to know I what did. you feel like being grouped in with those. Honestly, I feel like, it, like, I don't mind it because of the fact that that does give me a chance to speak out for those that don't have a voice that have been fucked over by these people. Because if you really take a look at the demographic of those people, there's one common denominator, well, gotcha, a couple. They either look different or they have some sort of special needs going on with them. And I feel like, you know, those people going after that kind of people is just, it's just not cool. It really is not cool, it's not okay. So, I mean, the fact that I'm grouped in with those people, like, I don't mind it because that does give me a chance to speak out for people like myself. And it, it allows me to be able to, you know, in a sense, represent those people because if you take a look at what they've been through, like, prime example, the whole thing with Chris Chan, what happened with him, if you really dive into his story, and I, I have, I've dug all the way into and I mean all the way into his shit from day one. Like, not that I was there since day one, but I heard about it and I went. I did my own research. I dug into the whole thing, the whole lore behind him. But I really and genuinely feel like if, because of the fact that he was very much severely special needs and didn't really have the, the mental capacity of an adult like, you know, myself or you would normally have, I feel like these people took advantage of that and they got him to do what he did. And I feel like these people, they should be held responsible for that. You know, like these people are actively finding people that either look different or special needs or have something different about them. You know, I feel like those people that are being targeted like, there needs to be a way to kind of, you know, not necessarily separate them from the public, but also make it to where they can do what they want to do and grow their audience and be like, hey, like, you know, we're out here doing our own thing. We're not over here bugging anybody. We're just doing our shit, growing our audience, trying to make a living, you know? We're not out here trying to be dickheads. We're not out here going around, you know, killing people or hurting people or this or that and the other, you know? Mm -hmm. So I really so I really feel like it, it's definitely very weird that I got lobbed in with them, but at the same time, it's like, okay, this is kind of cool because I can literally be the voice for those people because those people, they don't necessarily know how to speak up about yeah. this kind of stuff. You know, so you said something earlier that kind of makes me think... Um, you, you mentioned, like, that change is a lot to do with, like, a mindset, right? And I, I agree yeah. with that. Uh, what, oh, I'm, what, I, what, I'm, what I'm curious about is, have you ever thought about approaching the lol cow thing as, like, not a bad thing, but turn it into a positive thing? Oh, there, oh, absolutely. And that's actually what I've been trying to do recently, which is why I've been, and for a lot of y'all, I don't know if there's a lot of old school fans in here of yours that have been watching me, or if there's like a lot of old school fans that have, of mine that have been watching me. But here recently, I've actually been getting back into doing music again. I've nice. actually been going, yeah, I've actually been going back and I actually ended up uh, remastering a street racing scene, which is actually, as everybody knows, one of my most popular songs that N-Word Boy actually ended up stealing and getting the copyrights to. So I ended up pulling a Taylor Swift on that dude, taking the song back and ended up remastering it all so that he couldn't, you know, get his hands on it like he likes to do. So, I mean, I have been, you know, trying to turn that lol cow thing into a positive and i've really been trying to be like hey this is what i'm really about like yeah. i'm not out here i'm not out here raging out for no reason like 
And it's like, a matter of fact, this morning when I was talking to one of the trolls who gave me some very good insight on how their mindset works. And this guy was surprisingly open-minded. He was actually really chill. He was a very good dude and was actually very open-minded and was very respectable about how he approached it, about how he explained it. And he really explained it and broke it down in such a way that I was like, okay, now I kind of understand... I feel like I understand the troll mindset a little bit more and how they operate and what they're thinking when they do this stuff. Yeah, what, so what did I, he tell you? Like, what was what was some of his insight? Just like that, like how they view, you know, certain things that I've done as not being, you know, redeemable in their opinion. And and he did agree though that like if I want to do better, I should be allowed to do better. I shouldn't have to sit here and you know, be ridiculed 24-7, 365 days a year. Or if, and I I know that even you'll agree with this one, this is just old school, you know, knowledge all the way around. But if you got a problem with somebody, unless their family is involved or if their friends are involved, don't bring their friends or family into it. If you got a problem with somebody, take it up with them. Don't drag other people into it that aren't involved. Yeah, do you think that's probably like, like... In, in your mind, what do you think is the most harmful thing that trolls have done? Like, like, do you think it's do you think it's like pulling other people into it, or do you think it's like uh, hey, 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 just hey, doing things, like doing different things? From, yeah, go ahead. Oh sorry. yeah, like like from like from stuff they've actually done to me. The most dangerous thing they've done to me, I would say, is when they shot at me through my bedroom window and that bullet went into my mattress. Like, that was the most dangerous thing that they've done to me. But in general, I think the most dangerous thing that anybody could do is make someone look so bad that no one wants anything to do with them. Because if you take a look at human history, we we thrive and we feed off of human interaction. And if you don't have that human interaction, eventually you're going to go insane. And I feel like that's where a lot of this kind of needs to be like, yo, like, these people ain't doing anything. Let them be. Let them do their thing, you know? Do you think that's kind of what might have caused some of, like, your more, like, raging moments? Like, do you think it was kind of the fact that, like, in in some ways, uh, the most interaction, oh, yeah. like, socially was either, like, you know, Ed and Sally or maybe it was, like, the Trolls? And so it kind of oh, cut you off. Oh, maybe. dude. Was, oh, dude. Like, that? I was... I was Oh, absolutely. Like, definitely, like, with the trolls, like, obviously, I do have, I did have a lot more interaction outside of just my family. Like, despite what people think, back before, like, all this shit started getting really bad, I actually did have a social life. Like, I actually went out and did shit. Like, I know it might not be on camera or this or that or the other a whole lot, but I, I, I was very active. I really was. Like, I used to go outside all the time and go down to the lake and do photography, for God's sakes. Hell, I did that film, The Darkness, that a lot of people fucking enjoy. And I know what y'all are going to say. Am I working on a new one? I don't know yet. I'm, 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 I'm thinking on it. I don't know if I'm going to or not. But that that's to be that, that remains to be found out yet. <laughs> but, like, I do, I do feel like, you know, a lot of these trolls doing what they did did kind of start that isolation process and kind of made it very hard for for me to really do anything because they spread all this negativity around just so fucking much and unfortunately so many people believed it because there's actual believe it or not there's actual facebook groups dedicated to canceling me like there's actual massive facebook groups of like thousands of people dedicated fully to making sure that i have no social life i have no like interaction like these these people essentially want me homeless and dead because they they find it funny so i do feel like you know the troll stuff that did kind of start that process which don't get me wrong i still have my really close friends on facebook i still talk to them every day but i do feel like i've definitely not gotten out as much as i would like to which does suck i'm not as social as I used to be as a result of that so I would definitely say that the trolls definitely did kind of it definitely started that process for sure yeah 
Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, because I was I was definitely curious about just like what you like you know what your thoughts are on them and like how yeah how they affected your your socialization. Oh yeah, like and I'll admit, dude, they've affected it quite a bit. Like a lot of the friends that I had like eight, nine, ten years ago when I first started have either stopped talking to me because they were getting attacked by the trolls as well for showing any kind of support or they still are in that mindset of like oh you're a bad person so I'm I'm just not talking to you anymore yeah which and don't get, and don't get wrong I know I know the old saying you know the real ones will stay around like the real ones that have got you back they will stay which is very true so in a way I can kind of I kind of have to thank the trolls for that because over time, I kind of started finding out, like, you know, who the real ones are. Who are the ones that have got my back? Who are the ones that, you know, are just going to up and leave when shit gets rough, you know? Yeah. Do you feel like um, like they've done any, like, like irreparable damage to, like, your life? Um, oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely, yeah. dude. Like, a lot of them, like, especially mental-wise... They've definitely fucked with me mentally to where I now do suffer from depression and PTSD on a daily basis to the point to where I see any car driving by super slow. I get weirded out and I straight go into defense mode because I don't know if that dude's going to slow down and try to do something or what. I'm constantly watching my back every time I go out because you never know when one of these guys is going to show up. Let's be honest. Yeah. Because everybody does kind of know where I live, which is a good thing and a bad thing at the same time. Yeah. It's a good thing for the it's a good thing for the fans that actually want to send me stuff and you know want to send me letters or whatever and shit like that. I don't mind that, but it's these freaking weirdos, man. That like they show up and they do just this weird shit. And it's like, why? <laughs> like, yeah. do, do you not and do you not have a life? <laughs> what What did it feel like, by the way, like? Cause I mean I've I, you know I've I've been on the internet for a long time I've seen some crazy yeah. stuff but I think one of the oh, craziest yeah. things I saw was the fact that like you and Marty fought like IRL which was Bro, really crazy that... to me like it, it, can you yeah. describe that like what was that like just seeing a troll like in, in for real like not not gonna lie dude like as soon as I saw him it was game on because like. And a lot of people don't know this because the camera angle of the video footage, because mm -hmm. he had it angled a certain way. I came up there to confront him because he was staying at the Airbnb right behind our house here. And when I found out he was there and he was talking all this shit about, oh, you won't show up, you won't show up. You got to remember, I was raised old school. And if anybody tells me I ain't going to fucking do something, unless it's my mom or, you know, one of my parents, or somebody that's close to me that, you know, I actually have a good connection with. If you're going to sit there and talk shit on the internet and say that I'm not going to do something, chances are I'm going to do it. Yeah. So I went over there with, so I went over there with the mindset of, all right, you don't think I'm going to show up? Well, here I am. I went to go show up and I went to tell him, like, dude, like, I thought I told you not to fucking be here. And it was just an in general thing. Like, I wasn't trying to start a fight, but it's like, I didn't want to deal with his fucking shit because the dude had already done so much already and then I was just like, dude, like, you just need to fucking leave. And when I seen him charging at me off the porch, my automatic first thought was, okay, this is going to either go one of two ways. Either I'm going to fucking get him or we're both going down and shit's going to happen. And turns out that he actually ended up slipping and his fist came down on my head, like not like on my head, but like towards my shoulder blade. And that's when he fell on top of me. And that's mm -hmm. when he started. That's when he started beating the living shit out of me. And as I'm sitting there covering my face, I'm staring at his fucking. Not gonna lie, dude has a good taste in cars, but the kind of car he had was shit. It was a fucking Nissan, like. I want to say Ultima or something like that. It was like, <laughs> it, 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 it was one of those like newer shitty like hybrid ones. It wasn't like the old school ones that actually look good. Yeah, like good, Skyline good, good. or something. Oh, bad dude, bro. Skyline's are this shit, man. You, you can't beat that. When it comes to Nissan's, bro, 370Z and Skyline all the way. Yeah. Straight that, up. Straight up. For oh, Nissan, yeah, absolutely. Anyway. I like Nissan's. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, like, as he's sitting there fucking, you know, punching me in the face, I've got my hand covered, and I'm sitting there staring at his fucking uh, wheel, thinking, like, oh, yeah, this dude's either going to knock me out or I'm going to end up dead if I don't fucking say something, if I don't fucking scream. Because I'm not going to lie, the dude genuinely weighs, like, 300-some-odd pounds. Yeah, so is he, like, what does he look like? Is he? Does he really look like that, like older, gray-haired guy? Oh yeah, no, 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 no. If you if you um look up like if you look up uh, Music Biz Marty on um uh, like on Google, or if you type in uh-huh. um Elvis Travels, or if you type in Elvis Travels Music Biz Marty, you'll see what he looks like. The okay. dude's the the dude's bald and fat and has a fuck ton of facial hair. Damn. Okay. Yeah, Let's put it this way. Uh, yeah. Long story short, he literally. What's the best way? I, what's the way? Best way I can compare him? And like, and I get that this is a fictional character, but if Santa Claus was bald and had a beer gut and red facial hair, that's basically what he adds up to. Okay. Okay. Essentially, like, so like, as soon as like, and not gonna lie, dude, I genuinely thought that he was gonna kill me. Yeah. Like, I genuinely, that's why when you, like, when you heard me screaming out, that was why, because I knew damn well that if I did not scream and say something, I genuinely thought that I was going to die. Because of the way that he was just doing it over and over and over and over. And for a good minute, I sat there just, like, trying to regain my composure after he got up. And I was just like... I thought that I was like I thought I had had a brain injury, so I ended up um, EMS ended up getting called. Uh, mm-hmm. Thankfully, nothing. Thankfully, nothing was broken. It was just I had a really swelled up nose. I was bleeding for like four days straight, which fucking sucked. Yeah, <laughs> not gonna lie. If if you've ever had your nose split open that good, you'll know. Like your 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 nose ain't healing very well that fast, man. No. So does he like live in Akron or was he just like there? No. Okay. No, he was just he was just kind of here. Yeah, that was that was I know that was one of the questions I had was like, which was, which not gonna yeah. lie, that's very they're not gonna lie, dude. That was that was very fucking weird. Yeah, because I was super shocked because like when I heard you got into a fight with him, I was like, wait a minute, I was like, I didn't think Marty was in Ohio. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, he, he's initially from Chicago, Illinois, but um, his now ex girlfriend Saren, who actually lived one state over. He had to go through Ohio to get to where she was at. Oh, okay. That that makes more sense then. Yeah, so he had to go through Ohio to get to where she's at. Okay. Th- that that, which, that makes more sense. Yeah, which which fun fact because of him doing what he did with me and CIA hole and her, uh they actually ended up splitting up literally not even what not even like 2 months ago. Oh, damn. Okay. Yeah. How, what is so? I know. I mean, to anybody who knows you, Marty is yeah. the uh, Marty is like, like if you're the, if you're Batman and Joker, he's your Joker. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Exactly. You're not wrong. Yeah. So, like, what? What is what? Well, a what has Marty been up to? Like, what's like, has he done anything be, recently with you? Or I'll be not to my knowledge because I'll be honest, dude. I don't. I try not to pay attention to it. Yeah. I try not to like look at it like, and it is hard. It definitely is hard to uh, for me. It is definitely hard to not want to scratch that urge to go look and see what he's doing. Mm-hmm. Like it, like, and a lot of people don't get that. Like when you're put in the position that I'm in, and you got so many people coming after you, and they got all this shit that they've said about you, and all this stuff. Like you're constantly wondering, like, okay, what's gonna be next? Like, what, what are they saying about me this time? What's this person saying about me, you know? So, like, I genuinely don't know what he's been up to. Because, like I said, I try not to pay attention. Yeah. So, as far as what he's doing, your guess is as good as mine, dude. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I know uh, some people... So, some people were really bringing up, like... Like, like on the list of issues yeah. people have with you, you know, because there's always a long list, you know. 
Oh, dude, there's a dude, there's dude. If there was a fucking one, if there was a, if I had a dime for every single fucking thing they criticized me for, I'd be rich. Yeah. What do you What like, do you think no is the joke. weirdest or the craziest thing people have said they have an issue with you on? It's not so much the weirdest or craziest thing they have an issue with me on, but I I can't really name anything that they have an issue with. But the th- weirdest thing that I will say that they have done, which is actually very disgusting, is they actually sent, like two or three years ago, a dead baby pig still in the mother's fetal sack in a cardboard box to our house. Damn. That right there. That right there, like, granted, yeah, it was very messed up on one hand. And yeah, I did get sick. Like, don't get me wrong. I love horror movies. I love blood. I love guts. I love I love the horror genre as a whole, man. Mm-hmm. Like, amazing, amazing, like, some of the best horror movies out there are just classics. But, like, when it came to that dead baby pig still in the mother's fetal sack, it was, like, it was one of those things of, like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, what kind of sick person do you have to be to do this? Yeah, what did, what did you guys end up doing with it? Like, how do you dispose of it? We, we ended up, um, I forget. I want it because my mom was the one that handled it. Like I didn't open it, she did. So yeah. like, so like I I want to say she ended up throwing it away or something. I'm not for sure. So yeah. like I don't I don't necessarily know what happened. Like I know that she got photos of it to show to the police if ever needed. Yeah, that's but a very like, Godfather esque way to like troll you. Oh, for Honestly, sure. <laughs> it's a very, for very sure. weird yeah. macabre way yeah. to tell you. Which, not gonna lie, dude, Godfather, amazing fucking movie. Yeah, <laughs> uh, classic. Dude. You can't Pug, beat the classics. No, man. Pug David asks, "What's your favorite horror movie?" Oh, favorite horror movie would have to be a toss-up between either the Saw movies or Final Destination. Oh, those are solid, solid. Final Destination really ekes me out. Like the second movie with the uh, oh, bro, with the truck and yeah. the lumber. Like, oh man, bro, the one that got me was um where um what was it? The chick that was on the balance beam and she fucking snapped her fucking neck. Oh, oh yeah, dude, yep. dude that sh- that shit was so brutal. But the most brutal one for me would have to be where they were at the fucking racetrack and that engine just flew right into that dude's gut. Oh, Ugh. I remember that. that. was a 3D one, I that, think. That, yeah. that shit was brutal, dude. Like, what the fuck? And what makes it so scary is that if you really think about it on that level, that's not too far from what could happen in reality if you think about it on that level. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 like the... It, to me, it's like the movie of If Murphy's Law Was a Movie. You know, <laughs> you're, you're not right. <laughs> like yeah. anything that can't happen yeah, will valid. happen, and let's just let it all oh, happen. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. But um, as far as like the Saw movies go, and just like, and I'm not saying this just because you know he's in it, but because of the way the story plot went, which was one of the most well done ones, I would have to say Saw Seven Final Chapter. Which, fun fact, if any of you have not seen it, I will not spoil it, but. Fun fact, Chester Bennington is actually in Saw Final Chapter. Oh, he yeah, actually that's plays right. Yeah, yeah, he plays Evan. That's which, right. Not gonna lie, dude, which, not gonna lie, dude, that was probably one of the more brutal ones I've seen out of that movie. That and the fucking uh, drill truck at the end, that shit was like, dude, what the fuck? Yeah. No, that's <laughs> like, crazy. Like, who, 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 who let Jigsaw out his fucking cage fully? Because that shit is not cool. <laughs> <laughs> you might, you might want to dial it back a bit. All right, man. So we're we're getting close to seven o'clock my time. So I, I feel like we'll probably start winding down a little. Uh, yeah. If, if you had to say anything to anybody new, old, whatever, watching, maybe this is their first time. Maybe this is their seventh time or seven thousandth yeah. time watching you. What would you <laughs> What would you have to say to them? Whether they hate you, they love you, they can't stand you. What would you leave them with? <clears throat> to the to the ones that do like that are new i just want to say this like if y'all want to get to know me man uh this man can definitely link you up to my discord um if you guys do want to check out my content i do have a youtube channel i'll he, i know that he can link you up with that no problem um for those that don't like me 
I don't care if you like me. Like, I don't care that you don't like me, dude. Like, if you don't like me, hey, I'm cool with it. But for those that do like me, man, I just want to say I definitely appreciate what y'all do. And, you know, I just hope and pray to God that, you know, through stuff like this, you know, we can start making that change on the platform that needs to be made. And hopefully this kind of gives you guys an insight on how I actually am as a person. And hopefully it kind of shows you that I'm not this evil, weird, disgusting person that they make me out to be. Like, you can literally ask anybody that I know. Like, hell, you can't even ask this to me. Dude, me and you sat there for like, what, a good half an hour, hour and a half or so, just talking and shit? Uh, yeah, before stream, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, this dude right here can tell you that I'm literally one of the nicest people that you could ever meet. Like, a lot of people think that I'm unapproachable, but I'm actually not. Like, you can literally, like, the, the way that I am is like this. If I see you out in public and you're a fan... Dude, I will be more than happy to, like, to take a picture, sign something. Hell, I'll fucking hang out with you, man. You want to go fishing? You want to go skating? Shit, let's go. Like, I'm that kind of person. Like, I will hang out with you, no problem. I have zero issue with that. Like, that's the kind of dude that I am. And hopefully, you know, through my videos and through this, y'all can kind of see that a little bit more. And, uh, yeah, to all the new potential fans... I definitely hope to see y'all over on my stream, and to any of any of my people that are over on this end, bro, be sure to check this dude out, man. Be sure to check out his content. Dude's actually a good dude. All right. Uh, we got a couple questions coming in before I let you go. Um, What's up? We have Enry, Enry Zero who asks, uh, are you related to Asmongold? Because you look a lot like Asmongold, like his brother or something. <laughs> yeah, I know, I, know who, I know who that is, and no, I'm not. But I will say this. Um, one of my ancestors, and this is actually something that not a lot of people know about, but one of my ancestors is actually Jonathan Putnam from the Salem Witch Trials, which very fucking weird to find out after I read The Crucible in high school. It was very weird finding that out after the fact. <laughs> but no, I am not related to Asmund Gold. I, d I do enjoy Asmund Gold's content, not going to lie. Asmund Gold, definitely a good dude. I love the guy's content. I actually watch him a lot, actually. Definitely good content. Very underrated. Seems like a chill dude. Uh, oh, yeah. Let's see. Fall of the 11th asks, serious question for you, Chance. Uh, What's up? Why do you feel like people will believe what you say when you claim, or when you, when you claim you're one of the nicest people, yet we've seen footage of you threatening people's family and kids? Uh, well, and then, so, all right, so, sorry, man. I'm, I'm finishing up the oh, question you're good. here. Oh, you're good. Uh, why do you feel like it's okay to use words like the N word and constantly right, like homophobic so, language? Basically, slurs. Like, why do you? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I understand where it's coming from. And I believe it or not, this is actually a more of a more of a common question than what people seem to think. So my take on that is this: if you come at somebody correctly, they're gonna treat you with respect. But if you come at somebody sideways, then you're going to get shit thrown your way. And I genuinely feel like if people would not attack me and actually approach me like this man did right here or the way that that Jesus dude did this morning on Discord, like if you approach me with a level of respect to where you're like, hey, I'm not out here trying to troll. I'm not out here trying to be a dick. I just want to know what the hell is going on. If you approach me like that, like, I am more than willing to sit down and talk and explain stuff that you might not have a very keen, you know, knowledge on. Because there is a lot out there that is not only misconstrued, but there is a lot out there that is not portrayed in the correct way. And there's also a lot of information that's not out there that I feel like a lot of people are missing and they're just like, oh, you know, like, we're not going to pay attention to the little stuff. We're just going to pay attention to this. But again, that goes back to the, like we were saying at the very beginning of the, of the interview, that it's one of those things where it's like, really dig in and do your research and start questioning both sides of, you know, what's going on. 
Because I do often find it very strange that people question me, but they never want to question people like Marty or Kendall on, like, why they did what they did or, like, what actually went down, you know? Like, they never want to question those people, and I feel like, and and I know guys like Ryan of Church do this all the time. Shout out to fellow Creek Squad. Fucking love you guys. Shout out to all of Church fans. Love y'all. One of the, actually, the other church fans are actually one of the coolest fan bases I've ever been a part of, man. They're fucking cool as shit. So shout out to other y'all, man. Fucking love you guys. But I really feel like, you know, it's guys like him that really are a good thing because people like him, they ask. Like, they ask questions. They question everything. And they're like, hey, why is this happening? What's going on with this? Who's involved? Let's actually get to the bottom of what actually is going on. Instead of just, you know, instead of just focusing on, like, what happened, what caused it to happen, why did this stuff occur, what was going through that person's mind when they did this, why are they constantly deflecting and doing this and that and the other, you know what I mean? So, I think he wants to know, he was saying, um, yeah. let's see here, he was saying, uh, like, do, do you think it's excusable, though, like, for threatening like do you it, it depends on the situation because I will admit I have had um I have been in a lot of situations where people have actually sent death threats my way. Like they've actually gone out of their way to do death threats. And I'm the kind of person where you gotta remember, dude, like and this this is no attack to you, man, at all. Mm-hmm. To the dude in the comments. This is not an attack to you at all, man. I can you where you're coming from is very valid. It really is. And I completely agree with where you're coming from. But at the same time, you have to remember, dude, I was raised very old school. I was raised that if that if someone, you know, does something to you, you should have just as much right to do something back. So, prime example, just, just pure prime example here. Let's say that you say something to me to get under my skin. Mm-hmm. Like, I should have just as much right to do that back. So when this stuff goes on, my first thought isn't to be an asshole. My first thought is, okay, what can I say or do to get under this person's skin to make them feel what they just did to me? It's basically an eye for an eye thing. It's so, literally very, it's yeah. basically old school. So so uh, for a lot of your, like, anytime you've ever got, like, raged or, like, gotten mad. Yeah, or, like, like, it was it was essentially like, retaliation, kind of? Yes, it's a, it's more of a retaliation of what they're doing. It's not the fact that, like, I hate the person. It's more of a fact of, like, I didn't really understand why they were doing what they were doing. And just the fact that they kept on doing it and doing it. And it's like poking a bear, dude. You, keep, you poke the bear once, nothing might happen. But eventually, you keep on poking it. Eventually, that bear is going to turn around and you're going to get hit with that fucking claw. So I think one thing Follow the 11th is asking. So he, I, I don't think he's worried about like threats to like to people. But I think he's yeah. he's asking why, uh, why to kids. Because I guess there was some time... I don't know. To be fair, I don't know the time he's talking about. But he said there was a time where you like threatened somebody's kids, and so I think that's what when, he's talking about. When 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 was this? Because I genuinely do not remember that. I I don't been, personally I, remember. I, uh, and I've watched I'll a lot of your honest, stuff, so I don't know. But, yeah, I'll be yeah. honest. I'll be honest, dude. I've been through so much shit over the last several years with these people that I don't even remember. I don't even remember what some half of them said yesterday. To be honest with you. Yeah. So, like, I genuinely do not remember. But if I did do that, chances are it's because they said something to my family. Oh, or they okay. So, I, he's giving me... He's saying Sarah? Sarah. Yeah. I I genuinely do... Wait, Sarah who? Um, like, I'm not, I'm not trying... I'm not trying to be a dick, dude. Like, I'm genuinely wondering. Because if you can, like, if you can remind me of, like, the situation... Is he talking about that thing you... with Heather? Is, is that what he's talking yeah. about? Like, when you guys were on I... live stream? I don't know. Because I, I genuinely don't know who Sarah is. I know your stuff pretty well, but that name escapes me. Yeah, like... Fall yeah, 11th, like, I... Um, I, I can't... I can't speak for him, because I don't know. But... Uh, do, right, well, dude, I don't maybe? even know. Yeah. 
Yeah, please do because I'll be honest, dude. I genuinely do not remember. Yeah, because I, I mean, I only know, I, I mean, I know a decent amount of lore, but timeline oh, wise, I don't entirely know. Right, because like, and I'm not trying to make an excuse for it if I did say it, but chances are that person from that that person probably did something to deserve what I said. Do you? So here's here's one question. Do you think? Um, and somebody asked, do you think you should apologize for for any like of the rages or like spurg outs or threatening like kids or anything like that? The threatening, I feel like there are some parts where I could apologize for. But as far as, like, the rage outs go, like, let me ask you this. Why should I apologize for me being attacked? You know? It really goes back to, you know, that's like apologizing for somebody shitting on you. Is essentially what it is. Like, you're literally apologizing for something that they're doing to you. Like, granted, yeah, some of the rage outs may have been definitely out of pocket and out of hand, but a majority of the time they were brought on by just constant attacks, constant shit of people doing stuff, you know? So, like I said, it all depends on... It's very situational. Like, there are times where I feel like, you know, I should have apologized, but at the same time, I do have to bear in mind that I didn't ask for these people to come after me. So I I think one thing uh, Aleb is saying is that like um, so he's asking more about like apology like so yeah. when when somebody when somebody comes at you right and then you come yeah. back at them but then you're you, you remember how you were telling me about like bringing somebody's family into it or their friends or whatever yeah yeah absolutely. I, I I think he's thinking about that because like you yeah, know if somebody yeah, comes at you, you and you come back at them but you bring their family into it I think he's thinking of that. Okay, like, yeah. You think so, you okay, should apologize, yeah, yeah in that sense. Oh, abs- oh absolutely. And and I have. Like there's been plenty of times where I brought someone's family into it and I knew I was in the wrong and I did apologize to them in private. And granted I know that it should be public, but I'm more of a person of where if I'm gonna apologize to you, I want it to be in private between me and that person. It's more it's more personal that way. It doesn't feel like it's forced you know it doesn't feel like it's it's out in public and it's forced and like oh you have to do this but i do feel like a lot of the times that when these people drag my family into it and they attack me shouldn't i have just as much right to do the same thing to them because they brought my family into it therefore i should have just as much of an equal right to do that not that i want to but when you go to that level it's like okay you want to get down like that? We can get down like that. So even though I don't want to, but yeah. So he's asking, um, he's asking like kids wise, like what about kids though? Like, do you think you should go after the kids? Like I said again, that all depends on the situation. On a normal, like on a normal thing, like if someone's talking shit about you and you know they're coming at you, definitely not. Like you should never do that. But if they're bringing your family into it and they're bringing, say, you know, your kids into it or your family into it, then I feel like, you know, unless they're like, like way underage, like if they're, if, if they're below the age of understanding right from wrong, like if they're below that age, then no, you shouldn't. But if they're like of age to kind of understand like what's going on and if they want to support that evil behavior that their parents are doing then by all means like you genuinely should because not gonna lie dude there's a lot of kids out there that are behaving in such a bad manner because of the parent which is not okay and i'm sorry but if if you're a little kid and you're over here talking shit to me Chances are I'm gonna talk shit right back to you, and I'm not gonna be nice about it because, so, like, your parent, like your yeah. parents, should have raised you better. So, uh, somebody else in chat asks, um, like, do you think age is just a number? No, 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 no. There should definitely be an age on on anything, dude. 
Say, say it one more time, man. I think you kind of cut out there. All right, can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good. I'm good. I can hear all right, you. all right. Oh, you're good. You're good. The, like, but to answer your question about that one, no, I do not think age is just a number. I do feel like there needs to be age limits on everything, honestly. I feel like until you are able to be moved out of your house or you're able to think on your own, I feel like more family and parents do need to be involved with their kids' lives, which, which is why a lot of the troll shit happens. Because a lot of families are not involved with their kids. They're not, you know, keeping an eye on what they're doing. And they're just letting them run rampant, which is a very big problem nowadays. Because parents aren't, they're not, they're not being parents. They're, they're trying to be, they're trying to be more of a friend than a parent. And all y'all parents out there that are doing that shit, fucking knock it off, dude. Be a parent to your kids, not a friend. Until they're moved out. And until they can make decisions on their own. Hang on one sec, dude. Bear back in one sec. Okay. <laughs> Chat, I... Oh, my God. We are really getting some crazy stuff here. I... Uh, thank you for hanging in with me. Um, I'm just... I'm, I'm just chilling. I'm just being respectful. Um, just cause that's how I operate, but yeah, no, I, I see, I see what you're all saying in there and, uh, it's not lost on me. I just want you to know that. Um, wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I, I just want you, I want to make it known that I do not agree, um, or, or sympathize. I, I'm literally just asking the question. So just to, just to make that known. Yeah, no, it is absolutely nuts. And yeah, I agree. I'm a little confused with what's going on, too. Like, I feel like this kind of switched, right? Let him cook. Bro, if we're not careful, he's going to be cooking for the people under 18. And we can't have that. <clears throat> yeah, no, I'm, I'm completely aware of Fall of the 11th. I, I completely... Uh, yeah, I'm with you on this. I just want you to know that. Like, <clears throat> know that the things that I say are mainly to get words out of yeah no you're 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 cool you're cool wow <laughs> crazy craziness absolute crazy thanks Andrew. <laughs> much appreciation he said the age of consent should be when you can make your own choice but so easy to be manipulated into thinking you're making your own choice at a young age like bro yeah well that's that's kind of the problem i think that we're running into with this right is like i i don't think I, I, I think he really does think in retaliation. I think that's ultimately what this comes down to. And it makes sense. I mean, you heard him say the eye for an eye thing, like, right? Like, I think that's kind of where it's coming from. Ask him why he constantly uses... Yeah, I can... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're good, man. You're good. I, yeah, I could definitely ask that. Uh, I appreciate I appreciate all the support and questions on everybody here. By the way, support for me does not mean money. I just mean, like, being here, engaging with me. So, uh, much appreciation. <laughs> Aqualink see you bringing that one back up. That's fair. Yeah, I'm. I, I don't know how much longer I can go, but I will. I will try to. Uh, I'll try to get as much out of this as I can. We're definitely. We're definitely doing something here, chat. That's for sure. Have you asked? No bitches. You know that would be a great way to end it. You know what's funny too is this. This stream was literally about to end like at seven, um, and. Fall of the eleventh came in, asked a great question, and I was like, "Well, I need to ask this. Like, this is a great question." Um, I only had so many questions off the top of my head, and I again, I want to be, I want to come off as, uh, what's the word, kind, I suppose, you know. So yeah, no, I I feel that, I feel that. <laughs> yeah, no, for real, Alistair, for real. I will definitely have to ask that Decepticon. He would like to work with children to help them better. That is a great question, Andrew. I will... Yeah. That's a great question. We might have to do a second part to this, honestly. Like, there's enough here that I think we could do a second part. And I think he would let me, too. 
For sure, man. Yeah. If I get too many questions, because the other thing, too, this kind of happened on a whim. Um, so I kind of feel like I was waltzing into the lion's den without kind of like a bunch of people knowing about it, you know? So we can always set up a part two, and I would be more than happy to like do do another part where we get more engagement and we can ask him these things. So, yeah, no, by all means. But when you just try to justify threatening children, do you expect any of the children? Okay. Rest of the internet troll gave him PTSD. Bro, I've had PTSD, and it was not from an internet troll. I can tell you that much. <laughs> There's a little bit of, like, a fake lulling of security that comes with, uh, that comes with talking to him. And I don't mean, like, security in the sense of, uh, I don't mean, it's like, security in the sense that, like, you know, you feel like you're good talking to him, but it's it's almost like you're waiting for that shoe to drop, you know? Like, you know something crazy is going to get said at some point. It's, it's wild. Like, I just, yeah. Act like he got through the internet, so undermining. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I will say, the, the, the one, the only thing I would say that he told me that I'm like, yeah, okay, that is too far is the big thing. That was that was pretty wild. Everyone's on that or selling no longer with this. How will you make more money in a rent place? Yeah. These are all good good stuff, man. Yeah. It, it's just wild. Like Yeah. I don't know. I think Sally must have called him. I'm thinking. <clears throat> he's been surprisingly <laughs> I mean you know that you know that's that's a possibility Enru actually just any of the trolls take his physical threats or him seriously that's a, that's a good question that's a really good question I will try to get to as many of these as I can I will have to get off fairly soon though so All right, everything good, man? Hey, what's up, man? Sorry about that, man. No, you're good. Everything good? Yeah, everything's good, man. I just had to help out with dinner a little bit, but that's about it. Oh, fair, fair. Um, I probably yeah. won't keep you too much longer because I know you, you oh, probably got good. dinner coming, and then I gotta uh, I gotta do something on my car too. So, no, oh, going away. What's 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 going on with your car, dude? Oh no, I just gotta go get some gas in it for tomorrow. Um, oh, okay. I thought so. Oh no. I'm like, dude. I was like, dude, I'm a fucking car guy, man. Fill me in. What's up? I can no. probably help out. <laughs> no, no, you're good. I'll definitely let you know. So far, so good. Nothing, you know, knock on wood, nothing crazy. Um, let's see here. Where did we leave off? So I, I have a, f a few questions. We may actually, if you're up for it, man, uh, we may have to do a, yeah. part, a part two at some point. Oh, dude, I'm, I'm down for that. Just let me know. Yeah. Uh, I will try to get to one of, let me get you a final question here. Rolled yeah. Up. Um, so we'll, we'll leave you on one, on one more and then we can, we can call it there. That right. way, um, we can, we can always just, oh, excuse yeah, me, we can dude. always get this on a part two. <clears throat> oh, dude, absolutely. Anytime, man. Yeah. Um, so we'll, we'll go to the fall of the 11th year with the last one. Um, All right, what's, up? what's your plan? Um, if, let's see here. Uh, let's see, what is your plan if, um, it, you know, when, as people get older, if Ed and Sally, something yeah, happens Yeah, oh, them, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Like, what, what's oh, kind of your, like, what's kind of your end plan if something happens to them? Well, first off, despite what people think, I do have people that I can stay with. Um, mm -hmm. two of them, two of them actually being, uh, my childhood best friends that I grew up with, which I love them to death. I've known those two since like fucking third grade, and love them to death. And then also, um, I do have one of my best friends that actually lives over in Australia that I flat out said that if anything happens, I got a place at his place any fucking time I need it. So I've definitely got a place to stay for sure. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, he also says, um, let's see here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's see here. Sorry, I just getting the last one pulled up. 
Um, yeah, he also says, you know, how you make money. Um, like, what will be your uh, what will be your like job essentially? Um, what will, what would you do for like a job? Um, I ideally, yeah. um, ideally, if I can get all my stuff straightened out and I can actually get away from this bullshit, hopefully I can do this full time. But if it doesn't pan out before that happens, which I can't see that happening, but on the offshoot that that does happen, shoot, I'll figure something out, man. I'm good with welding. I've done scrapping before. And plus, I already know damn well that if I go over to Australia, I already know damn well. I've got a good... I've got a great job lined up over there with a good friend of mine, so... Yeah, like, I've definitely got stuff that I'll be able to do if it doesn't pan out. But ideally, if I can get more of this kind of stuff put out there and, like, really show people that I'm not that psychotic freaking weirdo that people make me out to be, I can genuinely see myself getting my stuff back on track. Yeah. What, what, um, what is the job they have lined up in Australia? Like, what's like the, like, just, what would just that be? doing, just doing different stuff. Like, yeah, odd jobs. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, like maybe one day it'll be, you know, chopping down trees. One day it might be working on cars or whatever. Like, it just, it all depends on, you know, like whatever's going on. Yeah. It'd be, uh, Cyrax down under, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pr- pretty much, man. Pretty much. Yeah. Which fun? Which fun fact? I've never been there. And Australia is actually one of the places I've actually wanted to visit outside, like outside of Japan. Like, I've always wanted to visit Australia just because of the fact that it's you don't really hear many people talking about wanting to visit there because, like, obviously, fighters and all kinds of crazy shit. But for me, it's like, dude, that's just another floor today, man. Because. I was raised in Florida for, like, the second half of my lifespan as a teenager. So, seeing an alligator or something crazy out there is like, okay, this is literally just another day in Florida for me. What's up? <laughs> um, and then la- la- this this will make the last question for you. Yeah. Uh, Fall of the 11th says, um, you know, you, ha- you, you say you have a lot of, like, really good friends, really good, close, personal yeah. friends. Yeah. Um, but he wants to know, like, where, where they are like to stand up for you during the troll stuff like you know like do do they do oh, they, have they oh, talked they're... about making videos have they done anything they they more or less see what's going on and like and they are a hundred percent behind me a hundred percent matter of fact they've actually stood up for me through facebook like they don't make videos like if they see something going on they will speak out on it on facebook and they've done that multiple times they just don't, they don't do YouTube. They're not in that realm. They're more of less normal lives, hanging out. You know, they, they mm-hmm. like to live a normal life, which don't get me wrong. There's a lot of times where I wish I could go back to a normal life, man. Not going to lie. <laughs> but things have progressed so far that it's kind of at that point where it's like, well, there's no point in turning back now. May as well keep going. Yeah. Fair, fair enough. So man. I... Well, I, so I, yeah. So I, they, they definitely do, you know, stand up for me and stuff. If they see something going on on Facebook, they will definitely step up and say something. Yeah. Well, they just don't. They didn't. They just don't put it out there like that. Well, I appreciate you coming on, man. Um, I, yeah, I probably, I I'll probably end the call here with you, um, on bet, stream dude. so that I can shut everybody down. Um, yeah, I mean it a bad hey, way, and, but yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. And hey, I definitely appreciate you having me, man. And anytime you want me on, man, just let me know. Okay. Yeah, and, we'll and, we'll definitely set up a part two. I'll hit you up on Discord. Yeah, and and, and definitely, dude. Hey, if you ever want to do a collab like this on my end, man, just let me know. We'll get stuff set up, dude. Okay, sounds good, man. I appreciate your time, Chance. Um, yeah, and yeah I, we'll, and I we'll appreciate- be in touch, okay? Yeah, definitely. I appreciate y'all in the comments, man. Y'all are awesome, dude. So uh, take it easy, be safe, and uh, don't do anything stupid and stay out of trouble, man. Fucking love you guys. Cool deal, man. I'll let you go, but thanks, Chance. All right, man. Yeah, no problem, man. You take it easy, man. Yeah, you too. All right, man. Wow. Wow. Chat, I, yeah. So that happened. That, that fucking happened. Um, 
dude, all of you who are who have showed up, you're a real one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, honestly, uh, we're gonna have to plan a part two. Um, for anybody watching, I really, really appreciate you coming by, being here. Um, we can definitely plan a part two. Um, real quick, let me drop my Discord link so that y'all can follow me here. Um, so if you're not in my Discord, we can we can plan this because we we got to do another one of those, and we need people. We need people uh, to to ask questions. Uh, I'm not inviting Chi. Wait, did wait? Is he here? Bro, I don't think I invited him. Did I? Wait, who is this? Oh, okay, that's not okay. I got scared. That was Chance for a minute. Okay, I was like, wait, I didn't think I invited him. Um, <laughs> thank you. I'm so glad. So to you as well, my bro. Oh, thanks, bro. Like, I really do appreciate it. Um. Yeah, thank you for coming by. Like, I genuinely wanted to... I don't know. Honestly, this was very impromptu. Uh, I didn't really know where we were going to go, but I genuinely appreciate... Like, yeah, that'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll shoot you the link for the thing, Indrid, after we're done. And, yeah, that'd be great. I need to get on, it like, a decompression thing after this at some point. I need to go, uh, like, run to the gas station or something real quick, grab something, but... Uh, yeah, no, genuinely, I really appreciate everybody coming by. Uh, any subs or anything like that, genuinely appreciate. And you guys are all real ones. Panel, would love to jump on with you. Question chance, yeah. Hell yeah, we're, we're going to do a part two to this. Like, I see some legs in this, and I, I think we have a lot of options. Um, so join the Discord, jump in, um, and we can really do some stuff. Android also, if you're cool, Android, do you mind if I, if I throw your Discord in there too? Uh, if you're cool with it, I'll just I'll drop the detractor beam in there. A any place we can get into cool stuff, like you know, I feel like that would be good. So I'm gonna drop yours in there. <clears throat> so first one is my Discord. Second one is Indrid's uh, or detractor beam rather. So yeah, feel free. Um, Man, I want to, again, once again, last time saying it, but I really want to make it known I am not advocating for anything he said, um, nor am I agreeing with anything he said. I just want to make that clear, because I know I'm coming off as kind of nice, um, but it, this is not your standard buddy troll nice, like, this is me, just, like, this is just me, um, and, and no, I'm not, like, patting myself on the back, I'm just saying, you know, so... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just figured I'd make that known. So, guys, thank you once again for coming by. Genuinely appreciate it. Uh, impromptu Cyrax interview. Never thought that was going to happen. Um, but yeah, I will send the link in for this guy. And yeah, I think that's everything. So I'll let y'all go. Y'all have a good night. Um, and I will follow up probably in the community tab or in the Discord as far as like what we'll do next with this info. Okay. Uh, but yeah, much love and I will catch you guys on the flip side.